heading to the beach this summer, then you can't afford to miss the potential hazards we're going to reveal. That's all next. Talking about jellyfish stings. I can't believe you brought live ones here on the stage. <laughs> so don't urinate on them. Today we're letting you know how to avoid summer dangers that may be putting your health at risk. Next on our list, beach dangers. Every year, 100 lives are lost to dangerous rip currents in the ocean. Danger in the water. Flags are flying, telling swimmers to be aware of strong rip currents. Rip currents are the leading surf hazard for all swimmers. Every year in the U.S., rip currents cause more than 100 drownings. 80% of our, our rescues are made in these rip tides, and today they're just every 200 yards you see another one. Extra lifeguards had to be called in today, and just about every tower is manned. So would you know how to survive if you got caught in a rip current? Well, here to show us how to survive is B.J. Fisher. He's president of the American Lifeguard Association. Thanks. Thank you. What is a rip current exactly? Well, in general, a rip current is natural waves coming in, and they break at the shoreline. Depending on where the shore is, you have stronger waves in one area and weaker in the other, and it causes a circulation or a belt. So I'm out swimming in the ocean, we're surfing around, and all of a sudden you're getting confused and you're getting pushed further and further from shore. You're in a rip current. What, what can you do to survive? What happens is this is flowing out. Usually these are only 60 to 100 feet wide. And so instead of swimming directly to the shore, keep calm and think clearly and just go with the flow of the shore. Once you're out of the current, then return back to the shore. So get out of that, that current because otherwise you're swimming upstream. Exactly. So just swim to the side and then you can get into shore. And you shouldn't go out and try and save somebody. That's, that is so true. That's his job. Right. That's, exactly. <laughs> so many times you have a single drowning situation ending up in a double tragedy because you have a good Samaritan that enters the water and they're not trained and they don't have the proper equipment. But what you can do is you can take things that are there on the beach, such as a plastic raft or a cooler or a ring or something, and toss it out to them. Our next beach danger that you need to avoid is maybe sometimes unavoidable because you can't see them. We're going to teach you how to treat it if it does happen. I'm talking about jellyfish stings. If you've ever been stung by one, you know they can be incredibly painful. So, BJ, come up here and hang out with our, our fun friends here. I can't here. believe you brought live ones here on the stage. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> a real Who, deal. What's and everyone in the audience is going home with one of these today. <laughs> This is a fake version. What part of this do we need to worry about? Exactly. It's the tentacle area that, uh, that the right. problem is. You're unaware that they're in the water. And the next thing you know, you have a intense pain, fire on your skin. And the, uh, these tentacles here have a, an emission of a, uh, a cell, a stinging cell, that can generate over a million of these stinging cells onto the surface of your skin. And they don't fire all of a sudden. What they'll do is just a small percentage does, but as you, as you rub it, scratch it, move it, they start firing even more. So what do you do once you're stung? Well, first off, don't panic, because it's normally not a life-threatening situation. It's, it, it's more of a severe pain. Make your way back to the shore, and you need to sometimes try to get the tentacles off with, with a gloved hand or tweezers, or also rinse the area with salt water. They're finding that if you rinse it with fresh water, uh, it may actually activate the stinging cells even more. So don't urinate on them? No more urination on it. it what's happened now, is there's been a product that has come out last year, and there have been a lot of studies on it, and the active ingredient in this product here is called jellyfish squish. And what happens is that by spraying it on the affected area right away, it stops the stinging cells from administering the venom into your skin and also alleviates the pain. So again, this is something that's been made just for this, but again, the urination, the meat tenderizer, uh, alcohol, the uh, vinegar, all those are something that can sometimes work and sometimes cannot. The big concern I have as an ER guy is severe reactions. So if you're finding that you don't just have the pain, but you start to have other reactions, and if you're having difficulty breathing mm -hmm. or something like that, you need to call 911 or go see the doctor if you're having those type of reactions. Thanks a lot, BJ. Again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California for sending these little guys to us. You can visit them safely at the aquarium.
Coming up, our final summer danger that results in nearly 600,000 visits to the ER. Find out how to make sure no one in your family ends up there. It's a national debut for a Savannah project that claims to relieve jellyfish stings in minutes. Well, While summertime is prime time for beachgoers, it's also peak season for jellyfish. Jellyfish stings are becoming increasingly common on beaches across the country. The burn lasts about three hours and can leave itchy red welts for days. But a new product developed and sold right here in Savannah called Jellyfish Squish claims to relieve the sting in minutes, and doctors agree. The product was featured on today's episode of The Doctors, which airs right here on WJCL. What's happened now, there's been a product that has come out last year, and there have been a lot of studies on it, and the active ingredient in this product here is called Jellyfish Squish. And what happens is that by spraying it on the affected area right away, it stops the stinging cells from administering the venom into your skin and also alleviates the pain. Jellyfish Squish is made by Coastal Solutions that is located in downtown Savannah. From, while summertime is prime time for beachgoers, it's also peak season for jellyfish. Jellyfish stings are becoming increasingly common on beaches across the country. The burn lasts about three hours and can leave itchy red welts for days. But a new product developed and sold right here in Savannah called Jellyfish Squish claims to relieve the sting in minutes, and doctors agree. The product was actually featured today um, on the episode of The Doctors, which airs on our sister station, WJCL. What's happened now, there's been a product that has come out last year, and there have been a lot of studies on it, and the active ingredient in this product here is called Jellyfish Squish. And what happens is that by spraying it on the affected area right away, it stops the stinging cells from administering the venom into your skin and also alleviates the pain. Jellyfish Squish is made by Coastal Solutions. They are located in downtown Savannah. While summertime is prime time for beachgoers, it's also peak season for jellyfish. Jellyfish stings are becoming increasingly common on beaches all across the country. Now, the burn lasts about three hours and can leave itchy red welts for days. But a new product developed right here and sold in Savannah is called Jellyfish Squish, and it claims to relieve the sting in minutes, and doctors agree. The product was featured on today's episode of The Doctors, which airs right here on.